And this year, we are delighted to honor with a special Lifetime Achievement Award, Peter Herndorf. And Peter devoted his career to journalism, to broadcasting, and of course to the arts in Canada. For the past 19 years, Peter has served as president and CEO of Canada's National Arts Centre, North America's only multidisciplinary, bilingual performing arts centre. He has worked tirelessly to fulfil the centre's mandate to play a leadership role in fostering artistic excellence in all disciplines of the performing arts in Canada. A visionary champion of performance, creation and learning, he was instrumental in establishing the National Arts Centre Foundation, and most recently, I think this is true, the first ever Indigenous Theatre Department. And he's credited with transforming the NAC artistically through major national and international cultural projects, and of course physically, through the $225 million architectural rejuvenation and renewal project that's completed this year. Your Excellency, Peter Hindorf. Your Excellency, fellow laureates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Canada is a country that does not ask about your origins. It only concerns itself with your destiny. Those words were spoken by Peter Monk, the CEO of the Barrett Gold Corporation, who over the course of his life became so much more than that. A founder of the Monk School for Global Affairs, the philanthropist who ensured that the Monk Center for Cardiac Care offered the very best health care that Canadian patients and their families could ask for. And a man who, when he died earlier this year, left Canada a much better place. He was also an immigrant. When Hitler ordered the occupation of Hungary in March of 1944, Peter, his father and grandfather, left on the Kastner train 35 cattle cars carrying nearly 1,700 Jews. Peter Monk's story is one we hear time and again. Immigrants who devote their lives to making Canada even better. Rosalie Abella, was born in a displaced persons camp in Stuttgart and became a renowned Supreme Court judge. Wajdi Mouawad, originaire du Levin, est reconnu comme l'un des artistes de théâtre le plus doué de son époque. Mark Starowitz was born in Poland and created the definitive television history of Canada for CBC and Radio Canada. Adrian Clarkson left Hong Kong, and Mikhail Jean left Haiti. Both became exceptional journalists, broadcasters, and governors general. Like the people I've just described, I'm also an immigrant. I was seven when we arrived in Winnipeg from the Netherlands in the late winter of 1948. I was seven years old. Mais ce que je voulais vraiment C'était apprendre à connaître mon nouveau pays. And so I read Canada's books, sang Canada's songs, went to plays at the Manitoba Theatre Centre, and listened to CBC. And though and through its stories, I came to embrace Canada as my own. I have been fortunate throughout my career to have collaborated with some of our legendary journalists and artists as they chronicled the ongoing Canadian journey. And my passion for that storytelling stemmed in part from the gratitude I felt 
for the unconditional welcome that my family and I received in Canada in the late 1940s. All those years later, my love affair with this extraordinary country continues to burn brightly. And as a result, I'm even more touched by the wonderful honor you've given me tonight. Let me close by hoping that Canadians will always remember that immigrants have helped make us the envy of the world. Thank you so very, very much for this award.